Hey, what's up, guys? Today we're working on Reflection by Christina Aguilera. We're going to all art. This was originally released back in 1998, I believe. But the version I'm going to be teaching you today is a 2020 version, uh, which is a, a little bit different. But even if you want to use the original release uh, as sort of inspiration to your version, you can still use this one. It's all going to work fine. It's also worth noting in the original movie for one. This wasn't actually done by Christina Aguilera. It's actually done by Leah Salonga. Uh, apologies for the pronunciation there. Um, but the soundtrack release was Christina Aguilera. Now, film music and soundtrack music, and this goes for stage music as well, is very different from your standard pop music. There's a lot more little nuance, a lot more changes in the chords and the melody going on. Uh, it doesn't follow that typical pop song structure. So what I'm doing here for you guys is just simplifying just a little bit to help you remember it a little bit better and to convert it onto guitar a little bit easier as well. So we're going to start off with this little guitar part that goes like this. So we're starting with an E major chord, just an open E. So that's your first finger on the third string, the first fret, your second finger on the fifth string in the second fret, and then your third finger on the fourth string in the second fret. And we're picking the sixth string, then the fourth string, and then strumming the rest of the string, so the third down the first string. Then to our C sharp minor. So your first finger goes on the first string, the fourth fret. Your second finger on the second string, the fifth fret. Your third finger up to the fourth string in the sixth fret. And your fourth finger on the third string, the sixth fret. And this time I'm playing the fourth string, then the third string, and then strumming the first and second together. And then we move to an A. So your first finger on the fourth string in the second fret, your second finger on the third string in the second fret, and your third finger on the second string in the second fret. And this time plucking the fifth, then the fourth string, and then strumming the third, second, and third strings. Just going to do an extra strum on that just down to the second string. So that's our intro and now singing comes right in there. And we're going to keep that same sort of strumming pattern going. So it's back to that E, to the C sharp minor. Now instead of going to the A we're going to go to an F sharp minor. Right so what I'm doing here is barring the top three strings in the second fret, then just adding my third finger to the 4th string in the 4th fret and plucking the 4th, 3rd string and then strumming the first two. Now if you haven't played bar chords before, uh, check out my bar chords video which is in the description below and there should be a card up here as well. Uh, now the reason I'm using bar chords and I'm trying to avoid that is because the chords move around so much, even with a capo, you're probably going to end up using a bar chord in there anyway. Uh, so it's just a bit easier and it's good practice as well. And the other thing is, we're actually moving from that F sharp minor to a B, which is a bar chord in the same fret, so we may as well just keep it there anyway. So barring that second fret, and really we want to bar all that to the fifth string now, so even if you have that ready from that F sharp minor, that's probably a good idea. So barring that second fret, and then actually using our third finger to bar the fourth, third, and second strings on the fourth fret. So that's our B. Now we're actually moving to a B sus4 first. So add your fourth finger to the second fret on the fifth string. And just two strums like that. So the B sus4, then taking off that fourth finger and that B. And we're only strumming to the second string here, so don't worry if your third finger is touching that first string as well. Then from that B, we repeat those first three chords. So the E to the C sharp minor to the F sharp minor. Now we actually come to a key change. So now we come to a G. And the G that we're going to use for this song uh, is a three finger G, but using our second, third, and fourth fingers. And the reason for that we'll get to in a bit. So your second finger goes on the fifth string in the second fret, your third finger up on the sixth string in the third fret, and then your fourth finger on the first string in the third fret. 
And we're still going to keep that same pattern. So with the G we're going to pluck the 6th and the 4th strings and then strum the 3rd to the 1st. Then we're going to an E minor. So keep your 2nd finger there where it is, so on the 5th string, 2nd fret. And then just add your 3rd finger onto the 4th string below that, so still on the 2nd fret. And hitting the 6th to the 4th strings again and then a strum. Then we move to an F. So what we're actually going to do here is try to bar those first two strings in the first fret. So your first and second strings there. Add your second finger up to the third string in the second fret. Your third finger all up to the fifth string in the third fret. And your fourth finger just below that on the fourth string in the third fret. And just hitting the fifth, then the fourth string, and then the strum. And then the next three chords we just do one strum on each. And so that's a C to a D, to a G. So you see you put your first finger on the second string in the first fret, your second finger up to the fourth string on the second fret, and then your third finger on the fifth string in the third fret. Just one strum. To our D, so your first finger goes on the third string in the second fret, second finger on the first string in the second fret, and then your third finger on the second string in the third fret. And then our G again. So that whole verse will sound like this. So that's a lot of chords to remember, but the good news is that there aren't many other new chords that we need to learn for the rest of the song. It's just remembering where they come in, uh, how we play it, and the order of them. So we come to our first chorus, which doesn't build a huge amount yet. Uh, that really comes in the next chorus when we make it really big. But we're just going to move to strumming now. So let's do two long strums on the G, then two long strums on the E minor. Then we're going to go to that D and do one strum and then a D sus4. So what we're going to do is with that D add our fourth finger onto the third fret on the first string. And then move to the C. To the G. Two strums on the G and then back to the C and one strum on the C. So so far it's this. back to the G and this is why it's important to use that three finger G that I was talking about before. So we're actually going to do one strum on the G, then move to a G major 7. So what we're going to do there is take off our fourth finger and add your first finger onto the second fret on the first string. Just like that. Now any of the other sort of G fingerings uh, that we generally use, you wouldn't be able to do that, at least not that quickly. So G, G major 7. Then to our E minor and two strums on that one. To our D for two strums. And then back to our C. Then we move to a C minor. So that's the same as your C sharp minor that we already did. But we move back a fret. So your first finger is on the third fret in the first string. Your second finger is on the second string in the fourth fret. And then your third and fourth fingers on the 4th and 3rd strings in the 5th fret. And just one long strum that you hold for 4 beats there. Back to your G. And then to your C. So that whole chorus will sound like this. And then we go back into the verse. Now with verse 2, you can do exactly the same chords as the first verse. And if you're playing it by yourself, that's going to work for most of it. But this kind of goes back to what I was talking about at the start, where it actually doesn't follow exactly the same chord pattern in this second verse. So we're going to start on that E still. But this time we're going to do it twice. Then 
into a D. So already we've changed it up here. So on the D we go 4, 3 and then the strum. And then the B. Now if it were me I'm still going to do that B sus 4 first. But in the second verse I don't believe it's actually there. I'm still going to do it just because I'm playing it by myself on the acoustic guitar and it sounds great. Now this is where it really deviates, because now we're going to go to a G. Just once, to your E minor, to an A minor. So your first finger goes on the second string in the first fret, your second finger up to the fourth string in the second fret, and your third finger just below that on the third string in the second fret. And we're picking the fifth, the fourth, and then the strum. Then to the C minor, just for a strum, a long strum, and then the G. Now on that G we want to do one nice long strum. Then we want to do sort of a build up because the chorus that we're coming into is really where it lifts and where it builds. So I'm just going to do short strums and eight of them. And we follow most of the same chords as the first chorus. And the strumming pattern here I'm going to use is a little bit different. So I'm going to still use all down strums because we want this to sound really powerful and down strums are generally just more powerful than up strums. So I'm going to do a nice powerful down strum and then a quieter one, just kind of hitting those lower strings and then another powerful down strum. So we're going to go to the G to the E minor Now the next part is the same as the first chorus but just strum louder more powerfully than the first chorus. And the next part is also the same, but again, just make it fuller, make it louder. Now we're going to change it up here, so we're going to play an F, and I'm just going to do four strums on that one. To the D sus4, to the D. So, so far we have this. Now notice I'm adding little sort of down up in the transitions there. That's up to you if you want to do that. Uh, it just adds a little bit more sort of rhythmic stuff there, but I wouldn't really count it as part of the actual strumming pattern. Alright, so then we repeat that. So back to the G. To E minor. And then the D, C, G, C thing. Then we do that G, G major 7 part. Now instead of moving to a C minor here, we're going to stay on that C and hold that for a little bit longer. Then we move into a bridge and we're going to keep that really powerful sort of strumming going. I'm going to go to a B minor, so it's the same shape as that C sharp minor and C minor but one fret further down again. So your first thing is on the second fret in the first string. Second finger on the second string in the third fret, and then your third finger on the fourth string in the fourth fret, and your fourth finger on the third string in the fourth fret. So we sound that B minor to an A minor to a D sus4 to an E minor to a B minor to a C to a C minor. So that whole bridge will sound like this. Then we go back into the chorus and we start on that G into that E minor again. To the D, D sus4 to C. Then this time we actually go to a C minor instead of going back to the G and the C again. Next 
next part is the same. To our F. To our D. And then we repeat. Next time we go to the F, and then a D sus4 instead. Now for our outro, we go back to really nice soft strums. So we're going to hold that D sus4 for a little bit, let it ring out, and in the original song the rest of the band kind of brings it down, but just letting that ring out will kind of make that transition for you. And we're going to do that uh, G to G major 7 rundown. Then go to our C minor, and then finish on our G. So there we go guys, I know there's a lot of talking, a lot of different parts and a lot of chords in this one, uh, so I definitely recommend checking out my full playthrough. It's in the description below, just so you can kind of see how it all fits together. Uh, make sure you leave any comments, questions, or requests in the comment section below, and like and subscribe. Uh, it really helps out the channel. I've got newsletters coming out every single week that you don't really want to miss. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Sam. I'll see you next time.